Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the Morning Grain Comet. Yesterday we had a pretty wild uh, trading day with uh, the over the night prices sharply higher and then prices broke, traded lower as the stock market uh, traded lower and also the dollar came back from its lows. <clears throat> we have uh, soybeans up 20 cents, um, meal and oil a little bit higher, uh, corn a little bit higher and wheat higher. Um, I think that there's no really new news to have soybeans up 20 cents, but there is some talk that um, given the potential for lower South American, especially Argentina crops, that um, our demand for our beans and meal may increase and that maybe we're rationing demand uh, starting at this 13, uh, close to 50 area. Um, the rally in beans and not as much rally in the products has board crush margins trading lower. A lot of numbers will be out January 12th. Uh, USDA will revise last year's uh, 2020 uh, crops. And uh, here in the U.S., uh, they will come out with new world U.S. Uh, supply and demands. They also will take a look at South American crops and then have a estimate of DS1 corn, soybean, and wheat U.S. stocks and the first estimate of U.S. 2021 winter wheat acres. The trade guesses for U.S. corn carryout and bean carryout is probably lower than what the USDA might say on January 12th. So, you know, that might limit uh, the upside in prices. But uh, I think eventually uh, we could have a carryout in corn as low as 1300 and beans, maybe something below 140, which some people think is the minimum pipeline stock. So maybe that's why beans are trying to ration or slow the demand down. As far as weather is concerned, uh, some scattered showers in Argentina. Looks like uh, next week there'll be some more chance of scattered showers. That's um, pretty random, but it might be stabilizing the crops down there. Uh, southern Brazil is dry, but eventually they could also see a few scattered showers, especially across northern Rio Grande. So the rest of Brazil, uh, crop conditions look like it's turning a little bit more favorable. So whatever number you want to put on South American corn and soybean crops, uh, we, may near, we may be near uh, a low number. As far as uh, outside markets, everyone's watching the Georgia Senate race election today. Um, and just see if that changes the balance of power in Washington. We'll also be getting a private estimate of U.S. Uh, 2021 acres and production later uh, this morning. And we'll just have to kind of watch the money flow and see what the uh, funds are uh, going to do with their long positions in the grains uh, going into the USDA report and then going into um, the rest of the early spring price action. Uh, some of this uh, new highs is uh, contra-seasonal in the grains and just show how tight things could get. We'll also be watching USD numbers to see if they actually lower the China corn production number and increase China corn and soybean import numbers. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day and remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.